The people that have been expecting the idea, isn't it? Yes. That is another reason we should stand up. Amen. Amen. That today, Pastor A.B. is Mrs. Awode. Oh.
what that is. One day, I'm sorry. You will not see for yourself the rest. You will see for them. And they will say, Now, Jesus, make me the smile. So you are going to say, Wait, you are going to say, When did you ask yourself? But they are going to ask God their name. That's why I said, Smile. What did they make you smile? What did they make you rejoice? And you say, Now, Jesus, because without Jesus, you are not. Without God, you cannot get to anywhere. You might think that it is on your own you are making it. God is in your life before you are able to make it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are going to see, before these children of God arrived on this day, it wasn't easy. It's God that presents their life. It's God that keeps them, not to sin against God. It's God that protects them. So you are going to see that's when they are going to dance and celebrate Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It's beautiful for them.
will walk out gently. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. When God has gone to begin to bless us this year, it's no secret. This is the rest of the 35. See that woman, I know her before. God said, God be that. Now this one, I think you say, God, day. Praise the Lord. Amen. This is the rest of the 35. Amen. 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 Did you know that they say, the Lord don't keep quiet like that. They say they want sin for their pastor. Amen. 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 And not this of them. Yes, sir. That's why the children are quiet. Yes. Hallelujah. They are not the children. Amen. We have a special about the weather for the glory of God. And it says, What 
part of our father, who is there at the home. In one room there, praise the Lord. We repeat the name of that. That's what the Lord, the Lord can remind you. Praise the Lord. And we started just adjusting the house of our daddy, Mr. Arudeli. You didn't know that that is the joy of the song. Hallelujah. I want to tell you one word that will help you. Put on the future. Make the ball. Hallelujah. Because future has everything for everybody. Amen. Amen. It's future. Everything is future. Every man life, the Bible ever said, better is the end than the beginning. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't you ever wait. You shall see what I'm going to do tomorrow. Thank you. 
with me. I was annoyed. So they were like that when they were in Europe. <laughs> now I'm not doing my agenda. So we went on like that until he decided to travel. But he traveled, he made the proposal, and I got the assistance, I agreed. Mm. So,
never they are free of failure again because now you know the secret most of the successful people that you see around town are the biggest failures in town they fail so many times what made the difference is their attitude to failure they didn't take failure as being final they took it as a setback temporary setback or detour they were willing to try again and again and again and again until they achieve their goals make up your mind that you will be an unstoppable person go for your goals and for us who are leaders it's time for us to spread this quality of persistence we must not give up we must not allow the problems of our society to overwhelm us we must confront them with courage we must create a new future for ourselves and lay the foundation for our children to live in a better country see when we are thrown into hot water like the tea bag then the best potential has come out of us our world today needs courageous men and women will you step up to the plate and confront the things that challenge us in our generation i believe it we will soon hear about you because the giant in you is now arising and helping to take us to another level till we see you again same time next week on this broadcast i congratulate you for coming to a new dimension of success act with courage god bless you
the money will go. Because the one that is doing that, you know better than you, because you know where you come from. Praise the Lord. And he said, I will come up and complete the assignment. I said, you will come? He said, yes. Praise the Lord. I said, okay, there's no problem. We are here. What do you want us to do? Say, how do I do this to you? Because I'm not here. So take care of everything. I said, okay, no problem. I will do everything. Praise the Lord. Thank you. 
Jeremy. Abu Jeremy. I want him to come. He's a man that fear the Lord. Remember when he traveled from here to Owe to meet him with prophecy. When on our arrival, the man did not say, I don't know you. He just said, do anything that you want to do. And he gave us an opportunity to pray in the way, praise the Lord with him. He's here today. We want to just give a remark of what the Lord has done for me. I believe it is necessary. Let's pray hands together and come to the Lord. Praise the Lord.
many pastors. The pastors of today is different from pastors you know years ago. Uh, that Jesus has won. Not only winning, that Jesus has won. And that present pastors don't suffer for food. Their family don't suffer for anything. That God has given them what they to eat. And uh, they will let me know but sure that the uh, pastor does not suffer for once. Mm. So that I can forget about you be a pastor. That God will open the way for him. What he did not go and do a computer, God will do it because with the computer of God. Mm. So that so we continue. Uh, today I'm very happy. And uh, because when I see what that bishop did yesterday, I used to be in church occasionally and Jubilee and all of them. I go around them to see what they are doing. And I see a lot of progressive uh, attitude and everything in those pastors nowadays. It's not because they have money, but because they are educated and know what they are doing now than the past one that did not go to school. But we thank God for everything that he has done so far in the life of my son. I am very grateful to authority family today. You see, when they first uh, came to me about this, uh, the lady, Abedua, my wife told me, when they came to my house before, they didn't come there, they just sneak away because they did not want me to see them. Later, my wife told me, that lady, while they say she interested in the lady, I said, ah, ah, I didn't know much. Then, until uh, they told me it's a talk with I said, ah, a talk with you is a man. A man. How can you be a Christian? That person is a pastor. How can a man allow the daughter to marry a Christian? He told me, this is a, it's a different thing entirely. That the lady is doing the same way they are doing. Huh? Okay. To get this church, I started embracing the lady. Because if you get close to somebody, you will not know what it is. Somebody my daughter, my son wants to marry to not be far away. We are very close. Started studying this lady. And um, I belong in this area and I know many of the youth. If this lady is not the time that my son to marry, definitely I will hear. I will join here. It's not that I don't know the family. No great anyway. But characters differ. So, I decided to do very well and look at what they are. And then, um, by the time my son wrote, I'm told that we should go and uh, discuss it. I did not uh, waste time. I went to the parent. The parent received me and then um, we sorted this out. Then we finally went to the family for this uh, one we did on Friday. We were the one we were waiting for. We don't want to waste your time. We this and that. So, things were done. And I'm thankful to God that I brought these two families together. It is not money that I brought us together now. It is not the wealth of the individual or everybody. It is, the God. it is God that I brought these two families together. When I got home to greet my father, because I, my father is still alive, I went to greet my father that this is his English family. I told them that it's a authority family. He said, ah, live and live and live. I know them. I was very surprised myself. The musician that came to play there, I went to him. When he looked at the invitation, he said, ah, if I have another program, I will cancel it. I know the fact that I know that authority family. I will cancel it. Which is uh, it's a good name. And I believe that uh, another man that uh, come back home to marry, is my uh, first son. And uh, that's why the fact that he's so he's still a chief now as a pastor. Uh, his grandfather is a high chief in all those states, in our place in all those states. And I believe that he cannot marry a white lady, go by our tradition. So I am happy that he did not just pick up everybody there. He stood by the promise he made. And I'm grateful to that lady for being able to wait. Because for the six years, about six years, my son was away. Uh, this lady, the officer, is doing higher institution. Nobody can say you can see her one week 
in the street moving around. And I believe that uh, when he gets there, he will be an answer to my son. The father asked me one question when I got there. He said, what am I saw? This is what had brought me before the church now to say this thing. He asked me whether my son will marry this lady and keep her with me and go. I don't see how that can be possible in the first place. You see a young man, after he keep his wife with me, if he is to keep the wife with me and go there, there will be no point for him to marry. I told the father. I will even ask him to go now with the wife. Now, now. So we want to ensure that every available person with me is that with God on their side, the wife has a limited period of time to spend here with me before she leaves. And I will lead them with prayer that God will make it possible. Amen. And God has made it possible and it will be possible. Amen. So I thank you all. We will be to God. Speak not 
with a stale neck. For promotion coming, neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. For God is the Lord who put it down one and set up another. For in the hand of the Lord there is a call and a wine is heard. It is full of mischief, and he pour out of the same the delay thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall win them out. And all the homes of the wicked also will I cut off, but the homes of the righteous shall be exalted. Hallelujah. I want to preach on what I got. God will promote you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Everybody in the world is promotion. There is no body, either in age or in sex. Who that business? She can be only in promotion. Nobody wants to be stuck. And nobody wants to remain the same. Everybody in care. There is no man in the world that can be that for that person. Everybody is a sister of your person. There is no way to get back in your life. In as the days run in, as the days run out, you will ever experience up and down life. And what will keep you in life is the way you have knowledge that brings up. To understand God and religion. We must to understand who is God and who God is all about and what God is about to do in their life. And so they miss the salvation of God towards their life. Every man born under this planet God has a particular thing for his person. Even if they take out on the road, God has something for their person. So there is no point in the there is no time what is past and sin. God will count everybody and escape everybody. Why you are here, I want to make you that God loves you and will escape you. The Bible says God is a promoter. You see how God has promoted Pastor Abenua and Pastor Wale today. Just two days ago, the promotion started and God completed it yesterday. God has exalted them, and God will exalt all of you in Jesus' name. Amen. One way or the other, God will exalt you. The only thing God wants from you is patient. They want to they know how to be patient. They want to look at what people say and miss their calling. I want to thank God for the life of Mr. Wood, what he said or said in his song. He planned in our way to make sure that the song should not continue. But the song, for see that God has been waiting for you and that that is his calling. The man of God, Pastor Amy, the same thing he said. He said, looking me out to our own calling. Maybe that's the way God wants it. There's a man in the Bible that prayed the prayer. He said, let us pray to God. Let us pray to God. Let us pray to God. Let us pray to you. If God answer us, we will be happy. To see the end. But you give thanks to God. People ignore God. People disregard God. If we dishonor God and disregard Him, I want to say something that is very, very important here before we go forward. There is a man in the book of Luke, chapter 18. And the Bible said there was a widow in that particular country. The man was rejoicing. The Bible declared that this man fear God. Neither he will not fear God, neither they carry the man. And there was a widow in that city that they, they claimed her property. When they claimed the property of this woman, what happened there for her? The woman was left handicapped without anything. The Bible says that the woman keep going to the door. Please, sir, see that I have taken my land from me. The man the will not miss Next tomorrow, the woman will again. Keep going. The Bible says, the judge, the, the, the unjust judge came to himself and said to himself, 
I will repeat for this woman. Let her continue the coming. The Bible said, look at what the unjust just said. He said, who not God against for his only friends? Who cried there and night unto him? Bring the I want to say to you, be patient. God will soon promote you. In Jesus' name. He will promote everything concerning you in the name of Jesus Christ. Maybe most people are today are frightened their mind. Maybe what you see people look like appearing today are frightened their mind. So wow, you mean I'm going to remain like this? I have come to tell you never will remain like this. For God is not God of stand now. Thanks to God. He said, when I shall receive the word of Jesus, I will judge of God. He said, oh God, I will tell you what the of my life. I'm going to give these people to pastor. I will train them in the fear of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Pastor, one day, Pastor, pray back. I will be the congregation. Three people come in the fear of the Lord. Please use a million man. Take it over to your system. Ask the Lord for your own direction. I will bring them up in the fear of the Lord. Of life. Children of God, God has blessed me to bring you in the fear of His so that you can get that heaven. Perhaps so you should fear Him. He said, Fear God, for God is ready to be feared. Praise the Lord. My friend, if you don't fear God, you will run into trouble. If you don't fear God, you will miss your blessing. For He is the promoter. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. No matter who hand down with hand, God will promote you in Jesus' name. Amen. The speaker says something here. He said, I say unto the fool, hear not foolishly. And speak not with a stiff leg. You know that people that they are so wicked that when they want to talk, they don't look at their face. They will never look at their face. Who are you? Stupid man. Come on, get out of this. Hey, pay immediately. The Bible says, Oh, we cannot speak not with a steel leg. That is to the root and stop on. Hallelujah. No matter what the wicked is doing against you, God will not allow the wicked to hold you down in Jesus' name. Amen. There shall be a blessing for you because it's God that created you. No matter what you are passing through, there is God that will elevate you. It's a promotion coming, neither from south nor east. Your promotion is a promotion from God. Who promoted the man? God has promoted this family today. In Jesus' name. Amen. And the same way God has promoted them, the same way God will promote you. Amen. Be patient. In Jesus' name. Amen. Men shall stand up from sin. He said, make you sit down. Make your family sit down too. Because promotion comes from who? No. Come from who? No. If you have to start the table. If your family is not very forward today, they will go forward tomorrow. Oh, not from you. Hallelujah. 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 They can go through anything with a human being. That is to say, if you went patiently, God will talk to that man. God will talk to that woman. God will talk to that child. Help this man. Support this man. They will see the book of God in you. They will see the book of God in you. And they will promote you in Jesus' name. Men will surround you. They will say, what do you have me to do for you? Please, I want to help you. They will say for me. They will say material things just to promote your life. Because you fear God. So the one point here today is, may you fear God in Jesus' name. If you don't fear God, the end will be, the end will be worse. You have been blessed at the death. If you don't fear God, the end will be worse. So please, fear God whatever you are going to. Be God here. Call him in your house, he will answer you. Call him in your working place, he will answer you. Call him in your family, he will answer you. Whatever you are, God Almighty will not allow the wicked to destroy you or to destroy you in Jesus' name. Amen. What he has discovered is this. People don't want God. Because people are in the head. Number one, people don't want to do something and get the result because they believe that there is God that can fly that thing from heaven to them. So they are praying the wait. If God is praying and waiting, not by God's power, God moves you. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I give you something? Now, when he came to church, he said, he wanted to travel out. And the good news, 
I told him he would trap me. He recognized God first. And he did he gave his life to that. He put that prophet aside and faced God. And while he was busy working for God, God was busy making a way for him. If you put God first, God will put you on the line. In Jesus' name. Amen. No matter even if you maybe there's something that will happen soon. God is not interested in your crying. God is saying that you cry, you cry and wake up and die hunger. God has. So I want to tell you today that God will promote all of you seated here. In Jesus' name. All the youth. God will promote you. Thank you. You have had one, our daddy said. Can I tell you what? You don't say that in this job that as a pastor in this street, men are putting that away. But you don't know. There is no point that you are not a man. The best you give you are a girl today will give you. The man will ask you, what is it for you? I'm asking you. Who is the family bringer? You will send people to go and find and deliver the background of the girl before the man. Praise the Lord. Can I tell you something? Even if somebody is born again and is a pastor or a believer, he cannot marry the man. Praise the Lord. They cannot marry because of beauty. Because when somebody marries, they are going to see another person beautiful than that person. As soon as you marry and see the naked name of that person, they are going to see another person beautiful than that person. The one will keep you is because you love that person and that is your man. Praise the Lord. Amen. So all of us seated here, I want to advise all the youth, please. Give yourself the way Pastor Diki, the way Pastor Paleke. For six years now, six years, some of you have not yet God. You cannot stay with the Lord and look for a girl. Run and look for a girl. Like I said, God, I don't see a man who approach me. Nobody just come to me. I just believe, God, I'm not going to stay like this. To go to the house, I go to the house, I pray and take you to the house, I choose to pray and God you. To go to the house, I go and I never see somebody approach me. Am I going to live like this? Because I'm not giving God opportunity to come in and help you. You want to flow, not to enjoy life. So God says, okay, not to enjoy that. See the things that I can do, enjoy. So God is there. You have to be back. Like that. God, I don't know. God, I don't know. Let me tell you something. Don't say it's my sin. It's not your sin. Everybody is a sinner. Everybody is what? A sinner. The way you say, you now repent it. And now you agree that. Born again. Then from that day, what's that a new agreement with you? Are you hearing me? Then every sin you committed, God will wipe it off. I don't want it. Anything you say, God will be free. Just come to every man. Hallelujah. So I'm not saying that it's I'm going to 
Don't leave your wife. 